Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest in the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so I have Jonathan Roizen on the line, and he's co-founder and CEO of Flow Security. Jonathan, welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. All right, Jonathan. So a lot of business owners, executives, and, and entrepreneurs that listen to this show, and one of the things that is a hot topic is, is protecting your data, specifically security, cybersecurity. So excited to get into what you're doing over at Flow Security and really just to provide some, some tips and some frameworks for people to be thinking about when it comes to protecting their data. However, before we get into that, we'll start this episode the way that we start them all with our Mission Matters Minute. So, Jonathan, we at Mission Matters, we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. That's our mission. Jonathan, what mission matters to you? So, in full security, we empower data security teams to better protect sensitive data of their customers. With today's modern environments that are more difficult than ever to protect data, and it's almost a weekly basis that you hear about data breaches and also around privacy regulation violations, and we are here to solve exactly that. Our main mission is to, first of all, help companies to protect data of their own customers, make sure that it is in the right place and that it is safe and secure. And also, actually, for every person that uses us now that has his or her information stored in many different companies, just to make sure that he can sleep better at night. Mm. Fantastic. Love bringing mission-based entrepreneurs on the line to share, you know, why they do what they do, how they're doing it, and really what we can all learn from that so we grow together. So great to have you on the show. And I guess just to, just to get us kicked off here, I mean, how did all this start for you? How did you get interested in, in really security and protecting data? Where did all that begin for you? Well, actually, it goes way back. I've been doing cybersecurity in the last 16 or 17 years. Actually, I started in the, in the dark side. I started as an offensive cybersecurity practitioner, and of course, an ethical one. I've done that for many years, and after that, I crossed the fence, um, and I led investigations of data breaches after companies were hacked or believed to be hacked with major data breaches. I led investigations to understand what, what happened and then also help them get them out of the mud. This is where I've seen the big challenge of data security in modern environments. Mm. Now, have you always been like the, an entrepreneur or the entrepreneur type, or did you, or did that happen later in life? Like, how did that take place? If you ask me, it's something that you were born with. I think that I always have been a somewhat of entrepreneur. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's all, always something tickled. I've had more than one company. I also was one of the first employees in several different startups. So entrepreneurship was always around me. Uh, and yes, I'm very proud that well, from what we achieved with Flow in this company. That's awesome. So let's go. Let's go a little bit further into into flow and and really what you're doing and the type of companies that you work with. So maybe let's start there. So it's flow. Tell us a little bit more about the company. And is this an enterprise only type solution? Is it for small businesses? Like, give us kind of some of the lay of the land. Sure. So let's start with the problem itself. I think data security is not a new challenge. Always protecting data was a big concern for every company. However. In the last few years, there's been a big change in the, in, in the infrastructure, in environments, and that is, as for your question, especially true for bigger enterprises. And what is happening there is that data is much more fragmented than ever. There's data sprawl everywhere, and engineers can do basically whatever they want. They can move data around. Uh, they can also progress very quickly with their software development, which is something that is good, of course, because then you can make great things. However, in the security aspect, that is a bigger risk than ever. So, yeah, so I would say that as stated in the mission, uh, our goal is to tackle exactly that, to prevent the next data breach and also help companies with their compliance uh, needs. And the way that we do that is by providing a data platform for protecting that data. Mm. Now I know I know that Flow Security has some some unique advantages. So it's a data security platform combining both data security posture management together with real time detection and response. Can you maybe tell us a little bit more about like what that means and why it's and like why it's so important and why it gives it an advantage when it comes to protecting data? 
Absolutely. And it, actually, it's a continuation from the same problem itself. Because when things used to be simple, uh, data was only one place or only a few places, mm-hmm. it was enough just scan the data at rest, just you know, scan your databases, scan wherever your, your sensitive information is, and that's about it. However, as data is now everywhere, it's not only a matter of scanning the data at rest or doing the data security posture management, but you want to actually identify where data is being shared to. Data is, is, uh, is not only a matter of when it's stored, but actually it's much more dangerous when it moves, when it's on the move. And that is, um, as you mentioned yourself, this is exactly our uniqueness, that we don't only analyze data at rest, but we also analyze data in motion as part of our platform, hence our name, Flow Security. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. And as you were, as you were kind of founding this company, I'm curious. So wh- why did you take it that direction? Like, did you obviously there's and the reason I asked this question is, you know, there's a lot of a lot, a lot of data security companies out here. But you you went after kind of unique market and unique niche as because most most companies don't do it this way is what I'm getting at. Am I off on that or? No, you're absolutely right. And I think that the main reason why I went to that direction is because in the way that I see it, we're building the platform that I really wanted to have as an incident responder. When I yeah. investigated data breaches, this is exactly what I wanted because mm. most, I would say, the traditional approach is to look at data in certain infrastructure. For example, let's look at the data in the cloud or let's look at the data in your SaaS applications. But what, what I've seen in my own eyes is the importance to look at the data in a holistic way of data wherever it is, or how the way that we see it, wherever it flows. And to see, connect that, those dots, to get the full lineage, to get the business context. And for that, this is why we, we changed the approach that is uh, traditionally uh, what was the most common one. And then we added the runtime data in motion analysis. Wow. And so traditional, it sounds to me like, you know, traditional data security tools, they, they just aren't, you know, just aren't enough is what it comes down to. They may not get you there all the, all the way, right? Well, it depends on the use case. I mean, for many things, if you want to just tick the box, I would say for many compliance requirements, it might be enough. Or if you have a very simple environment, that also can be enough. But I'll give you an example. Let's say that uh, you have an e-commerce software company, and then it's Black Friday is coming up, and your engineers are in a rush, and then they deploy a mistake for their production environment, which causing PII or like personal information or even credit card numbers to be leaked externally. These are the type of incidents that we see almost on a weekly basis with our customers, and that is something that in these cases, yeah, traditional approach just isn't enough. Yeah. What would you recommend to data security teams as they're kind of figuring out and adapting to new environments and new challenges? Like, what are some things that you would tell them to think about? So I think the first step is that uh, security teams today have to be much more technological. They have to understand how their engineers operate. Also, there's something that has changed the last few years, and that is that deployment used to be something that happened I don't know, once a month or so, and the security audits were part of that development cycle. This is not the case today. Today, engineers doing continuous deployment. They just deploy every new feature to production, and it's extremely difficult for security teams to catch up and to have control over that. So I would say that my main recommendation would be not working against the developers, not looking at how they can slow them down for doing the security processes, but finding the way to enable them to continue with the same pace, yet having the ability to verify that they comply with the security requirements. Mm, That's great advice. Well, I'll tell you, Jonathan, it has been great having you on the show today and learning more about what you do, your background, you know, how you got started in the business as well. That being said, if if somebody's listening to this or, or watching this and they want to learn more and they want to follow up, so final question is a two-part question, actually. First off, what types of businesses are typically a good, a good fit to work with you and your team, like whether it's a size of company or revenue or industry, like what's to- typically a good fit to get the most value to, out of working with your team, number one. And number two, how do people follow up and connect? 
Sure. So the industries that we are very focused on are digital healthcare, financial services, e-commerce and retail, and every technology company that store or processes sensitive information. It can be financial information or personal information. I would say that anyone that hears us now and has the concern of what is my data? How can I know that it is safe and secure? Definitely, I'll be glad to, to contact and see if we can collaborate. And the best way to hear about us or to read more is to enter to our website. It's flowsecurity.com or follow us on LinkedIn, uh, Flow Security, and hear about our, uh, our platform, but also staying up to date uh, with many, a lot of information that we provide online. Fantastic. And we'll put and we'll put all that information in the show notes so that our audience can just kind of click on the links and head right on over to your website and check out your LinkedIn page. And speaking of the audience, if this is your first time with Mission Matters or engaging in an episode or listening to us, we're all about bringing on business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and having them share their, their background, their mission, really how they got started. And really, we want to all learn together and grow together. So that's the whole point of the Mission Matters brand and platform. And if that's the type of content that sounds interesting or fun or exciting to you, we welcome you to hit that subscribe button because we have many more mission-based individuals coming up on the line and we don't want you to miss a thing. And and really, Jonathan, thanks again for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure and thank you for sharing your story. No, thank you. The pleasure was all mine. Thank you, Adam.